when the PS2 came out, uh, a group of my friends of mine, we've been coming to Cigarettes since, since 1990, and we would often come to the Electronic Theater, uh, which is now the Evening Theater, and we're always like, well, where's the game stuff? And when the PS2 came out, the resolution finally went from 320, 240 up to a whole 640, 480. But competing against the film goods, which are 2K and now sometimes 4K, it was always this image quality issue. So it was a matter of trying to find a good format for games to get more involved and more prominent. So when the current generation of Game Harbor came out, where they're all rendering at 1080p natively in high def, all of a sudden we now have the resolution problem licked. So then the next question came about, well then how do we get more real-time stuff in the conference? And it was a combination of things, A, finding the right format, and B, just finding dynamic content, but also having a chair. So Ronan, when he came uh, conference chair this year, had seen this concept we'd written years ago and thought now was the time to do it. So uh, real time was actually more about not just the games, but we wanted to get the games in the real time computing back. There was also a whole lot back in the early days of SIGGRAPH before entertainment really exploded in the 90s in SIGGRAPH there was a lot of more scientific visualization stuff and a lot of that stuff has also gone into a real time format. So that's why we don't call it the games format because we want real time in games and some really cool scientific stuff. So if you can interact with it and it renders in real time, we wanted to get it in the conference this year. So SIGGRAPH has always been really focused on the graphics and as the games have really matured and become more and more part of the entertainment landscape and the technology landscape, we're hoping now by starting to highlight it, the games community will get more involved and realize SIGGRAPH really is the preeminent place for graphics interactivity. There are lots of conferences that talk about games, but very little so focused on just the graphics and the interactive technology. So we're hoping that by showing and highlighting it, the games community is going to get much more involved with it. So the jury process is we basically, people submit online and initially submit initial canned video just so we get an official feel to make the first cut. And then we take those video pieces and we evaluate them by going to a bar, getting really drunk and throwing darts at the board and seeing which ones we can work with. Now let's start that again. And then we actually do a point by point evaluation of each of the criteria. Technical achievement uh, as creativity, uh, production values, entertainment value for the attendees, and also most significantly, effectively using real time as a strong medium. When that's all done, then we sit and collaborate and we argue back and forth about what the stronger pieces were, and that's how it kind of works. Oh, and then when it's done, we send a puffs of digital smoke. So one of the most impressive things about what we got in our first year is just the mere a broad array of the different kinds of great real-time computing. We have information aesthetics pieces in there from uh, Japan. We have real-time hair. We have real-time car turbulence. We have a, the enormous character animation crowds uh, with Froblins. Um, we have brilliant, brilliant up-close skin modeling and fighting and dynamics in, in Fight Night 4. We have great car racing with crashes. Every little boy's dream of crashing and beating things up and driving fast. So we've got to get the entire gamut in games and research as well. For 2010, we're hoping to do more and more and more because we do have an interest in the games industry, so more bigger and louder. But what we're really hoping for is to get, continue to get really great things from the academic community like we got this year, uh, highlight more of that, do more production talks, and more talks of how people are really taking the GPUs and making them uh, reach out and add value to people's entertainment experiences. And hopefully we'll be getting more games that are exciting and pushing the boundaries.